What's going on, Willpower Goes Virtual Facebook group? Good to have you guys on today. Uh, oh. Sorry to get somebody on Zoom. It's a good workout today. Um, getting on a little bit late. I had to remind Adam to put the Zoom code up. But uh, anyway, I'll tell you what. What's up, Julie? What's going on? Uh, I'll tell you what, my, everything, uh, everything below the waist is filling today. Uh, fill some glutes, quads are pretty tight, quads are pretty tight. That's a good thing, it means we're not wasting time. Let's see who's logging on here. Brianna, Melissa Ben, what's going on, Melissa Ben, she's checking out what she's going to do later. Elizabeth, what's up? Beth, what's good? Hey, baby. Oh, yeah, I know, I'll see you soon, Melissa, I know. All right, all right, okay, this, uh, Oh, let's get into this thing. You will need two dumbbells today, guys, as always, for our upper body workout. I've got a whole uh, menu of dumbbells here. i got to figure out what I feel like using today. Uh, I think I'm going to start out with some 25s, but I may, I may take it up a notch from there. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. I'm still feeling some, some tenderness, like I said, from like that. Okay, the first exercise of our upper body workout is a shoulder press, guys. A uh, single dumbbell though, single dumbbell, so start up on your chin, fully extend at the top, bring it right back down, I need 10 single dumbbell shoulder presses, boom, go, yep. boom, oh, there you are, Lori, there you are, there you are, I need 10, 10 shoulder presses, guys, 10 shoulder presses, I got three, core stays nice and tight, Four. Uh, six, Eight, I got nine, Ugh, boom, I got ten of them, excellent. Next exercise is from a high plank position, guys. I want an opposite shoulder tap. We're going to go 20 seconds in two, one, let's do it. Ugh, remember, one of the goals of this exercise is to uh, uh, minimize the rolling of your hips. Two ways to do that is keep a nice wide base, so some space between your toes, and then think about keeping your core real tight. As always, in any plank position, this is just kind of a dynamic plank. Keep your core nice and tight. Two, one, breathe in. I need you on your feet. Next exercise with that same dumbbell we did shoulder presses with, I want a, uh, a bicep curl. So all the way up down to the bottom, shoulders and uh, chest at the top. Ten, single dumbbell, bicep curl, knock them out. I got three. I got five. Keep your core nice and tight. Got seven. Boom. Give me another one. Boom. Very good. And then the last exercise, uh, or excuse me, yeah, the last exercise of our of our set here is just ten sit-ups. Ten sit-ups. We're gonna sneak in a little bit of core engagement into our upper body warm-up. Ten sit-ups. Oh, I got three. Let your shoulder blades hit the ground. Kiss your knees up top. Oh, I got six. Keep your heels on the ground. I've got eight. I got nine. Boom! Excellent, excellent. As soon as you're done with your ten of them, I need you on your feet. Now let's go ahead and uh, knock the thing out again. I need ten shoulder presses. Let's go. Ten shoulder presses, guys. Ten shoulder presses. All the way up, all the way down. We're really warming up our shoulder complex throughout the entire range of motion. I got five, seven, nine, finish, boom, very good, hold the plank as soon as you're done, don't want to do that, I want to start that opposite shoulder tap together, in two, one, go, 20 seconds guys, 20 seconds, 20 second opposite shoulder tap, remember wide base, core tight, minimize the rolling of your hips, a little bit more aggressive pace maybe than you gave me for the first round. Uh, should feel a little bit better, a little bit more athletic. Heart rate is elevated just a hair. Three, two, one. On your feet. I need bicep curls, guys. Ten. Single dumbbell. Bicep curl. Two. Core stay tight. All the way down, all the way up. I got six, and then as soon as you're done, I need ten sit-ups. I got nine. Boom, I got ten. Ten sit-ups, guys. Go ahead and knock them out. Ten sit-ups. 
shoulder blades hit the ground, kiss your knees up top. Two. Keep your heels on the ground. Three. Oh, I got five of them. Oh, I got seven. I got nine. Finish, guys. Finish, finish, finish. Oh, boom. Whoa. Excellent. All right. Let's go through this thing one more time. I need shoulder presses. I need 10 of them. Lori Pereca, Julie, Beth, Elizabeth. Let's get them up, baby. Let's get them up. Boom. Brianna. Get them up, Brianna. Four. Core tight. Five. Fully extend. I got eight. Hold a, hold a plank when you're done. Boom. Hold me a plank. Remember, we're going to start that uh, 20 second opposite shoulder tap together, right? Now, let's go ahead and start that thing. 20 seconds right here. A little bit more aggressive pace maybe than even that second round, guys. A little more aggressive pace. Core stays tight, base stays wide. Boom. 10 down, 10 left. As soon as we're done here, I need those bicep curls. In three, two, one. Bicep curls, guys. Bicep curls. Boom. 10 of them. 10 bicep curls, then 10 sit-ups. 10 bicep curls, 10 sit-ups. I got eight, I got nine, boom, last exercise, last exercise, I need 10 sit-ups, last exercise of our upper body warm-up, that went pretty quick, not the hardest warm-up, two, but still effective, I got four, if you can, keep your fingertips on your temples, I got six, that just ensures you're generating all the energy with your core, I got eight, and if you have to hold them out for a counterbalance, that's okay. Uh, boom, I got 10 of them, guys. 10 of them. Whew. Grab a quick drink if you need to. This is just a warm up. That being said, we got a little bit of time because I'm going to explain the, work, the workout right now. Uh, first thing we are doing, same as yesterday, is a time bladder. So, what that means, I got four exercises. We're going to do each one for a 25 second interval. Second round, we're gonna do each one for a 30 second interval. Then 35, and then finally 40. So we are going through these four exercises uh, four times. Uh, now, as always, the first time through, a little bit more explaining, it'll go a little bit slower, but then each subsequent round after the first one uh, will be a little bit more aggressive pace. Yeah, this does get a little bit challenging. Okay, uh, the first exercise, now this is a, a shoulder press, a version of a shoulder press, it's called a military press. Uh, we rarely do this, but uh, what this is, it, it's like one, one, so one arm at a time. So you're going to press, come back down, press the other one, come back down, press, come back down. Uh, remember, it's not, a, it's not a punch press, right? I love punch press. I usually, when we do punch press, I say it's not a military press. Well, today, we are doing a military press. Um, i make sure both of them come down before the other one comes up. All right, 25 seconds. In two, one, let's go. Get them up, get them up. Boom. Good. Fully extend, guys. Fully extend. Boom. 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 Core stays tight, baby. Core stays tight. Excellent. I need about 10 more seconds, guys. About 10 more seconds. This first round is going to fly. It's not going to be too tough. Boom. But by the time we get to 35 and 40, it'll be real tough. In two, one, and breathe in. Excellent. All right. Next exercise. This is going to be uh, from a high plank position. We're going to start. This is a alternating plank up push up. So what that means is we're going down both elbows, back up to both hands, and then give me a nice deep push up. Okay. So elbows, hands, push up. Here's one. Here's what I want you to think about though: is uh, alternating the order in which you go down on those plank ups. Just for symmetry's sake, it's not a huge deal, but just think about that. All right. 25 seconds alternating plank up push up in two. One, let's go. And just like that opposite shoulder tap, I want you to think about minimizing the rolling of your hips. Core tight, base wide. We are over halfway. Scale to your knees on the push up if you need to. I need five, three, two, one. Breathe in. 
Not too bad, not too bad, yet. This next exercise, this is a pulsing curl. So this is kind of a theme that we brought back the last three upper body days. First time we did a shoulder press and then it was a tricep extension. Well today, I want you to cut off the bottom of the bicep curl and cut off the top of the bicep curl. I'm forever telling you guys to fully extend and then chest and shoulders at the top. Well today, I want you to think about arms at 90. We're going a little bit below and a little bit above, but you're cutting off the top and the bottom. This is time under tension. 25 seconds, it's like a bicep curl pulse. In two, one, go. It is a pulse. That being said, it's kind of a big pulse, right? Just cutting out the bottom and the top. So you're never coming all the way up or all the way down. We've got about 10 seconds, guys. Whew. I can see this is gonna get tough. Two, one, breathe in. Oh, excellent. All right, last exercise, guys. I think I'm gonna grab some heavier weights for this one. Yeah, I'm gonna go all the way up to 40s. Whoo! All right, what this is, is two renegade rows, so right renegade, left renegade, and then you're gonna jump up and give me two bent rows. Here's what that looks like. You're gonna kick out, give me a right renegade, left renegade, Kick in with your back nice and flat, elbows up, elbows up. Uh, so a little bit of confusion that happened in the studio, guys. It's renegade, renegade. But when you come up for that bent row, guys, it's both of them, both of them. So don't, don't alternate on that bent row at all. Okay, 25 seconds, renegade, renegade, row, row. In two, one, let's go. Let's get it, baby. Boom, give me a good kick out. Renegade, renegade, back stays flat, row, row. If you're really good at renegade rows, you should be able to bang out quite a few repetitions. In three, finish your rep. Two, one, breathe. Boom. Oh, all right. That's pretty good. I feel good about that. Uh, we are going through that thing again, as I told you, a little bit more aggressive, a little bit less explaining. So the pace is just gonna naturally get a little bit more aggressive. All right, that means the first exercise, going back to that alternating shoulder press, that military press, we're gonna go 30 seconds. In two, one, let's go. Whew, 30 seconds, guys, 30 seconds. Five seconds doesn't seem like a lot, but we're fatigued a little bit, we're burning a little bit, so it will be a little bit more of a challenge. Fully extend at the top. Don't cheat yourself out of that full extension. Over half, matter of fact, we got about 10 seconds left. Keep them up, keep pressing. Boom, boom. Four, three, two, one. Breathe in, excellent. Next exercise is that alternating plank up push up, guys. Plank up push up. In two, one, go, 30 seconds. If you're really good at plank ups and push ups, you can maintain a pretty aggressive pace. But if you have to go a little bit slower, that's okay too. That's kind of, kind of the beauty of a, timed, of a timed interval, is that you can find what pace challenges you. Boom. We got 10 seconds. This is big time triceps right here. Boom, boom. I need five. Finish on that push-up. Three, two, one, breathe in. Whew. Next exercise is that pulsing curl, guys. Remember, we're cutting off the top, cutting off the bottom. Kind of a big pulse in the middle there. Stay right in the middle. Time under tension. In two, one, let's go. Time started, baby. Boom, boom. Above 90, below 90. Above 90, below 90. Never all the way up or all the way down. <sighs> bang, bang, bang. Whew. Less, uh, we're over half. Less than 10. Keep them up. Five, three, two, one. Boom. Whoa. Oh man, all right. 
Here it is. I need two renegade rows, two bent rows. Whoo! In three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna kick out just like you would any other burpee type exercise. Renegade, renegade. Back stays flat. Two rows. Boom. On both rows, bent row and bent row. Think about punching the ceiling with your elbow. Boom. Really get those weights up. Put them on your rib cage. Right now, I need five seconds. Finish those last two bent rows. In two, one, breathe. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. All right, that's an excellent. Boy, I'm breathing pretty hard for an upper body day. Whew. I feel like I say that every week. All right, here's, the, uh, here's that 35 second interval. We're moving up another 10, uh, another, another five seconds. Starting off with that military press, baby. In three, in two, one, let's go. Military press, baby. Boom, boom. Any type of shoulder presses, so good for our shoulders, our triceps. Boom, 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 boom. Muscular endurance. 15 seconds right now. Whew, that seems like a lot. Ha, ha. 10 seconds, or just rather, five. In three, two, one, bang, let's breathe. Oh, very good. Alternating, plank up, push up, five seconds. Here's what I want you to do, guys, is I want you to think about ending on that last push up. So you're gonna finish your rep, 35 seconds. In two, one, plank up, push up, go. Top in that high plank position, do so. You got less than 10. Remember, finish on the push up in five, three, two, one, and breathing. Holy cow! All right, next exercise. I need that pulsing bicep curl, guys. Woo! Pulsing bicep curl in two, one, let's go. Now, 35 seconds is a long time. So, if you do need to fully extend, drop your waist, take a breath, whoo, do so, and then get back into the interval when you can. Core stays tight, cut off the bottom, cut off the top. Time and attention for those biceps. Whoo, 15 seconds. Oh my gosh. Bang, bang, bang. In five, three, two, one, boom. Oh man, oh man. All right, Woo! we got this last one before we do that thing again. I'll tell you what, we only do usually do three sets. Four sets seems like so long. Seems like a lot, but it is, that's a good thing. All right, you ready to get ready to get row, row. In two, one, let's hit it. Boom, boom, punch the ceiling with your elbow. Back stays flat, coming out up into that bent row. Boom, boom. Oh, boom, boom. Oh my gosh. Right now, 10 seconds. Just like that plank up push up, where we end on the push up, I want you to end on two bent rows. Even at times it's zero. In three, two, one, breathing. Finish though, finish. Boom. Oh. All right. All right, guys. Oh man. Let's grab a quick drink. I want to give you like 20, 25 seconds. I want to give me 20, 25 seconds. 
so we can bang out this last round effectively, guys. Whew. I'd rather take a couple more seconds at the beginning of the set so I don't have to take that rest during. You don't want to waste any strength building seconds. All right, this is the last round, guys. 40 second intervals, military press. In two, one, let's go, Lori, Julie, Elizabeth, Beth, get them up. Bang, bang, Brianna, get them up. Oh, I'm breathing pretty hard. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Bang, extend, guys, extend. Right now, we're 20 down. Means we're just halfway. If you gotta take a little bit of a breath with the dumbbells resting on your shoulders, do so. We got less than 10, I want you to finish strong. In five, three, two, one, breathing. Uh, 40 seconds, alternating. Plank up, push up guys, scale is needed. Keep in mind, you can always scale to an elevated surface before you go to your knees. In three, two, one, go, go. Oh my gosh, 20 down, 20 left. Boom. About 12 seconds, guys. 10. Strong 10, guys. Strong 10. Finish the push up. Finish on the push up. Even if you gotta knock it out after time hits zero. Three, two, one, breathe. Oh man. This next one. This could be the hardest exercise in this, in this set right here. This is that pulsing bicep curl, guys. Pulsing bicep curl. Get through it however you can. In two, one. Let's go, Elizabeth. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Cut off the top, cut off the bottom. Cut off the top, cut off the bottom. What's up, Paula? Paula's here. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, find a rhythm, baby. Find a rhythm. We're halfway right now. Holy cow. Holy cow. Remember, I want a strong 10 seconds. Right now. Strong 10. Don't set them down. Don't drop them below your waist. Get them up. Finish. Three, two, one. Bang. Boom. Whoa. All right, guys. Ooh, last exercise of the set. Renegade, renegade, row, row. In three, two, one, let's go. 40 seconds, go. Boom, boom. Oh, back flat, back flat on those bed rows. Boom, boom. Athletic transitions between these two exercises. Right now, halfway. Oh man, last 10 guys, remember we're gonna finish with two bent rows, even this time it's zero, five, three, two, one, and breathing. Oh man, oh man, huh, oh. grab a quick one. Holy cow, holy cow, oh, oh man, catch your breath guys, oh, Lord knows I need to, oh man, that's tough, that is tough, Woo! all right, so the next set guys, next set is a three by six by 12, that means we're going through three times, like a three sets, Six exercises, 12 reps a piece. We're gonna start out with a back fly. Uh, a lot of times in here we'll do a lateral fly. That's where, 
I want you to stand up relatively tall. In a back fly though, you have a little bit more hip hinge, a little bit more, maybe not so much as a bent row, but bent forward more so than a, a lateral raise. And you are once again raising the dumbbells to the side. Think about the tops of your palms and backs of your palms facing the ceiling top. Right now I need 12 of them, go. 12 of them baby. Ooh. Boom. Four, bang them out. Nine, Lori. I got ten. Boom. Boom. Set them down when you're done. Oh, that's excellent. All right. Next exercise. Love these. This is going to take place from that more bent row position with our back as parallel to the ground as possible. Both Grabbing both weights. I want you to think about pinning your elbows to your sides. And all this is is extension. Just extending your triceps or extending your elbows. Keep your elbows pinned to your sides. I want 12 tricep kickbacks, guys. Go. 12 tricep kickbacks. A lot of hip hinge here. A lot of hip hinge. I got seven. Full legs down on the back half. I got 10, 11. Bang. That's 12. Oh, man. Those get tough. Oh, well done, guys. All right. Next exercise. This is a little bit of a challenge. This is a pulsing push-up. So I want you to take the same push-up, this is just a regular old push-up, but we're gonna add a pulse at the bottom. We did a lot of pulsing stuff yesterday on leg day. Same thing, we're gonna add to this push-up. Now, if you need to elevate your upper body, I would rather you do that before you go to your knees. That being said, do them how you can. And if you have to cut out the pulse, do so. An easy way to scale, which I am going to do, is you can elevate your body by doing these off of your dumbbells. Right now, 12 pulsing push-ups, guys, go. 12 pulsing push-ups. Two, pulse at the bottom. Three, four, four, five, six, and break up the reps how you need to. I got 11, last one. Uh, bang! Whoa, 
Excellent, guys. Excellent. All right. We got our last exercise, guys. Last exercise. Oh, man. This one is tough for me. This is a uh, pendulum press. Pendulum press. Uh, so, it starts out looks like, a lot like a, a renegade row to start. But I want you to do is open up your hips and shoulders and press the dumbbell all the way to the ceiling. One is one, I need 12 of them. Right now, go. 12, pendulum press. Last exercise of the set. Three. Keep your butt down. Four. And you can scale with your knees if you need to. Open those hips up. Oh my gosh. Boom, I got 12. Oh man. All right guys, that's excellent. That's the pace we got going on here. All right, we are gonna make it through that thing. Two more times, listen to me though. Scale as needed. And the bar is 12. I'm gonna ask you for 12, but if you need to do eight or 10 to keep up a little bit, eight or 10 is what I'll take. Right now, I want 12 back flies. Go, 12 back flies, hit it. Oh my gosh. Find your own pace here, I'm gonna constantly let you know what comes up next. Give me some hip pins here. I got nine tricep extensions when you're done. Boom. Take a couple breaths between exercises if you need to. Remember, I really want some hip hinge, some bend over on that tricep extension. Seven. I got nine pulsing push ups when you're done. Ah, boom, oh. The first three exercises fly, man. Those are the ones that go fast. Pulsing push-ups when you're done. Scale, break up the reps as need be, Julie. Elizabeth. I got seven. Oh, I got eight. I got to. I got to break them up at eight and four. Oh man. Oh. And then as soon as you're done, I need that curl to press, guys. Woo! Curl press, baby. Curl press. Curl press. I need twelve of them. Oh man. Ooh. Oh. I got four. I got five. I'm gonna break these ones up too. Oh man, I gotta break these up too. Oh. Oh. Seven. I got eight, boy. Scale with single dumbbell if you need to. Oh man, chest fly hex press. Woo! Chest fly hex press, guys. I need 12 of those. This is so many reps. So many reps. Just fly hex press. Keep those hips elevated. Get them up. I need 12 of them, guys. Need a pace here. Bring those dumbbells together at the top. Oh 
Oh, man. Oh, man. And then pendulum press, guys. Pendulum press. Oh. Oh, man. Paula, this shit is hard, man. This shit is hard today. But we got a good pace going. We're doing this thing. Feels good. Feels good. 12 pendulums. Let's go, Brianna. Let's go. If you're scaling this to your knees, I still want you to open your hips up. That means taking one knee off the ground. Same knee that you're pressing. I got 11. Boom, I got 12. Oh my gosh. Finish those pendulums, guys. Finish those pendulums. Oh man. Oh. All right, Lori, Elizabeth, we gotta bang this thing out one more time. I know we're tired, I know we're fatigued, but we're gonna do this together. When you're ready, I want back flies, I want 12 of them. Oh, let's go, let's go. 12 back flies. Feel your shoulder blades at the top. Back your palms face the ceiling. Oh. Chest up, chin up. Chin up. I got eight, nine tricep extensions when you're done. Boom. Oh. Try extensions, tricep extensions. Oh my gosh, this is a flipping hard upper body day. Oh. Oh. Boom. I've got eight, nine chin up, ten fully extended the back half. I need pulsing push ups when you're done. Pulsing push ups when you're done. Scale them, break them up, whatever you need. All I said. Next song. Oh, pulsing push ups, guys. Oh my gosh. Lloyd Pareka, I'm trying to keep up with you. Paula, doing good, baby. Just knock them out. Pulsing push ups. And then curl press when you're done. Push ups, then curl press. I got eight. Oh my gosh. Oh. Curl press. That's the hard part, to let these last three. I got five. I got seven chest fly hex press when you're done.
Pendulum press when you're done. Oh my gosh. I got four of these left. Boom, all right, baby. I'm on my pendulums, my last 12 reps. If you're done, guys, if you're, if you're approaching being done, if you're one of the first ones done, take a second, some recovery breaths. This is gonna take us right into crunch time, guys, right into crunch time, let's finish. Open those hips up, even if you're scaling. Get them up, Elizabeth, Brianna, Paula, Lori, Julie. Let's finish. I got seven. Oh, 10. I got 11. Bang! Oh, 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 oh man. Oh, oh, I like some volume on. Oh man, I can't lie to you guys. After that first, after the first set of three by six by 12, I was wondering how I was gonna get through two more sets. But we did it together. That was hard for me. That was hard for me. Okay, time to, ooh, crush time. Okay guys, this first exercise, this is a grounded V up. So what that means is you're gonna keep one, one knee bent and that knee that's bent, that heel is on the ground. Hence grounded, it's on the ground. And then the other leg is the one you're doing the V up with. I want seven and seven. Go, seven on the right, seven on the left. I got six, boom, I got seven. Switch them up. I got five, I got six, boom, excellent. Next exercise, guys. This is just a regular crunch, all right? This is the simplest ab exercise to do, but it's also the easiest one to just blow through and it doesn't mean a thing. That's not what we want. Think about folding your ribcage into your belly button, half second squeeze at the top. Your job is to make seven and eight hurt a little bit. Go, 10 of them. Uh, 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 four, maximum engagement. This is just a, uh, a reverse bike pedal, guys, a reverse bike pedal. Both heels stay off the ground. It's a little bit of a counterintuitive motion, so if you have to slow down and deliberately think about big circles with your heels, do so. Two, one, 20 seconds, go. 20 seconds. Kiss your knee up top, extend on the back half. If you can go a little bit faster, go a little bit faster. Go a little bit slower, go a little bit slower. But either way, your heels off and core and hip flexors are engaged. The whole 20 seconds. Give me five more seconds, guys, in four. Three, two, one, and we're breathing. Woo! Let's do it one more time, baby. I feel so good. Seven to seven, ground and V up, go. Ground and V up, seven to seven. Oh, this second set is always so much harder. And then I want 10 crunches. This time I want you to make five and six hurt instead of seven and eight. Five and six to hurt. Four, or maybe even one. I got six. Boom. Ooh, crunches, ten of them. Make them hurt. I like to keep one hand on my core. Three, feel it engage. Four, that half second. Oh, five, that definitely hurts. my abs engaged. I love it. I love, I love feeling my, my muscles work, baby. Too many people, too many people in, uh, 
in this country don't know what it feels like for their muscles to work and engage every day. Reverse bike pedals in two, one, let's go. You got one body, you got one life. Why not see what it can do? Why not see what it's capable of? Ugh. 10 down, 10 left. Ugh. I need five seconds, keep those heels off even if you gotta hold your knees, your hamstrings. Three, two, one. Ugh. Break, work out. Whoa. Oh man. I'm sure we'll be stretching upper body tomorrow, but I tell you what, my, uh, my lower body is still smoked from yesterday, so that's what we're gonna stretch. Woo! Oh man. I, what it was, I think it was those curl presses, man. I started to, my quads started to cramp up on a curl to press. Whoo! All right, so here's what I wanna do uh, for stretching is I want you to find a kneeling position, guys. It doesn't matter which knee up is, what's knee down, one's up, one's down. It takes a little bit of stability, but what I want you to do is reach behind yourself, grab your ankle, and pull your heel into your butt cheek. This is a quad so you should feel a tension in that bottom quad. In three, in two, one, relax. Let's take this knee that is forward extended, kick your heel out, toe up, and lean forward. So now we're getting that, the other hamstring. Try to put your nose on your knee. If you can reach forward and grab your toe, do so. In three, in two, one, Relax, let's switch legs. Do that same thing, guys, reach behind you. Pull your ankle, pull your limb, stand up, round out your chest, chin up, pull your heel on your butt cheek. Four, in three, two, one. Let it down, guys. Kick your heel out, toe up. Lean forward, nose on knee. Reach for as much toe as you can grab. Five seconds. Straighten that knee out, in three, Two, one, and breathe. I need you on your feet, guys. We've got one more stretch. I want your heels outside your shoulders. Take your diamond and thumb and put forefinger, push it through the floor. Really round out your back, elongate all the muscles of your lower back. And now let's walk your diamond over to your left ankle. Try to grab as much of your foot or your ankle as you can. Minimize the bend in your knee if you can lock it out, do so. But minimize that bend. In two, one, let's walk it over to the other ankle, your right ankle. Grab it with both hands. Same thing, minimize the bend in your knee. In three, two, one more time. Let's walk your diamond directly beneath you and walk your diamond back behind you, behind your hips, and really pull yourself into the ground. Once again, relaxing and elongating your lower back. Three, two, one, and breathing. I can't tell you how happy I am that that workout is done. Oh man, I've never been more ready for some inspiration and some motivation. Wow, today's been a tough week already, it's only Tuesday. Today's inspiration and motivation is about responsibility, guys. Huh, the ones easy, and listen, we've all been on both sides of what I'm gonna say. The ones easiest to attack are the ones that are closest to you. Isn't that ironic? The mirror can be the hardest thing to look into, right? So we all know when, when you really messed up, and you don't want to admit it, so you lash out to the people that have your back the most. And that's the wrong thing to do, right? And we've all been on the other side of that too. Somebody, we got their back and they lashed out at us. But you have to understand that moment, uh, you know, and, 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 and empathize with people as hard as it may be. So remember, look in the mirror, take responsibility, uh, you know, for your own actions, guys. Here we go, let's go responsibility on one. Three, two, one, responsibility. Tomorrow's core strength and conditioning already can't wait until then take responsibility and help those around you do the same peace